Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Declaire. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Selecting a jersey number is the most important decision you will make in your entire athletic career. This is a number that you are going to stick with the entire time you're an athlete. So when you're out there trying to pick a jersey number, you might say to yourself, what number is the right number for me? You see, this is the number that the ref is going to yell to the scorekeeper when you get a five minute major for jamming the butt end of your goalie stick into someone's kidneys. This is the number that your adoring fans are going to see as you wash Gatorade stains out of your jersey at the laundromat. This is the number that's going to be hung from the rafters of your local ice rink until the rink attendants catch you, call the cops, and arrest you for vandalism. This is important shit. Obviously, it's gonna be a tough decision for some of you. Because of this, I'm here to offer my opinion on this topic and hopefully give you a little bit of guidance. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to break down the meaning behind some of these numbers and hopefully make your life a little bit easier. This is Goalie Smarts episode 35, how to pick a jersey number. Step one, don't just pick any number. See, here's the thing. We're hockey goalies, and we do things differently than everybody else. You can't just walk around and pick any number that comes to your head. It's a tradition of the goalie world to stick to certain numbers. I don't know of any other position in sports that do this, but we do. Oh, I'll just pick 69. Isn't that funny? No, it's not funny. First of all, it's the furthest thing from a goalie number. So not only are you disrespecting the hockey gods that died for our sins, you're doing it to make a lame sex joke that everyone sees coming. Unless you have some sort of emotional attachment to the number 69, and by emotional attachment, I mean that your dad must have uh, died while trying to 69 a polar bear at the zoo or something. Unless you have that kind of attachment, don't even think about it. Step two, consider the traditional goalie numbers. The most common numbers of a hockey goalie are one and 30. That's right, as goalies, we have the privilege of being the only players that can be number one on the team. If a forward or defenseman tried to be number one, they would be met with fierce criticism. Well, you think you're better than us? You think you can just walk around calling yourself number one? Who the fuck do you think you are? See, this is why you can't keep a job. This is why your parents are divorced. See, they don't say that stuff to you if you're a goalie, unless you're actually unemployed. And if you picked 30, good job. You picked a number that a lot of goalies pick. Good for you. You did the bare minimum. Actually, you know what? Fuck you, you're lazy. Step three, consider being a little different. Okay, so you want something a little bit more individual because you're a special little snowflake. Well, hold on here. Let's not lose our fucking minds, all right? This is our jersey number after all. Important shit. One option you can consider is picking another number in the 30s. Carey Price is 31, John Quick is 32, Patrick Waugh is 33, Mika Kippersoff is 34, people with giant ticks are 35, so on and so forth. And if you don't want a number in the 30s, pick some other number that's a multiple of 10, right? Nabokov was 20, Rask is 40, Holtby is 70. If you pick some stupid ass number like 87 because you secretly wish you were Sidney Crosby, fuck you. You're clearly not cut out for this position. Step four, forget everything I just said and take whatever your cheap team gives you. Now that you've spent all this time overthinking this decision, there's a decent chance you won't even get to take the number you want. If you play for a cheap ass team that has two hand-me-down goalie cut jerseys, your decisions don't matter. Being an individual is too expensive sometimes. And just because your favorite goalie is Braden Holtby, East Bumfuck High School is not gonna order another goalie cut jersey with the number 70 on the back just so you can look good opening the door. You're either gonna get one or 30, and you're gonna like it. Thank you for watching the 35th episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This episode was suggested by Christian Cavallo. If you have a good idea for the next episode of Goalie Smarts, keep it to yourself and never say it out loud. I'm kidding. Comment it below, and I might just do it. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair, and I'm out, bitches.